Latest developments on a scary situation at the Roger Williams Park Zoo. A talking escaped its exclosure this morning, injuring two zoo employees in the process. And now we're learning more about how the animal managed to escape and what it did once it was free. I would news reporter Steve Nielsen was at Roger Williams Park Zoo earlier today. He joins us now live in studio with the very latest. Steve. Well, Mike, simply put, Talkins are dangerous. The one that escaped is 800 pounds. It has horns and was aggressive. The zoo, though, says they were prepared and no one was in danger. Behind these metal doors, 9 a.m. Tuesday, zoo officials say Harley, a nine-year-old Talkin, charged. Finally breaking through and leading him out of his enclosure onto zoo grounds. This is video of the 800-pound Himalayan animal from when it was first brought to Roger Williams Park Zoo in 2012 from an Ohio zoo. The Talkin was getting a routine hoof procedure Tuesday when it hit a veterinarian and an animal keeper. They were injured as the Talkin charged through doors into the open. They are okay. They're going to feel aches and pains, but they are okay. Diane Nahavidian says the animal never left the zoo grounds. The animal was within view of all the recapture team at all times. So it simply wandered as it was followed by emergency response teams with tranquilizers and rifles. It did a loop around the, the zoo. At 9.55, right before the park normally opens, the Talkin was hit with a tranquilizer and taken back to its enclosure. He's had a traumatic morning, so they want to make sure he's healthy. Nahavidian says they train for this, and even if zoo visitors were inside the park, she says they would have been safe. All staff is regularly trained on best practices for any type of emergency, including the escape of a large and dangerous animal, so everybody was prepared today for this. The gates to the zoo opened at 1015, just 15 minutes later than normal. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, I'll tell you more about what talkins are and why they can be dangerous. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Sheena. We have new information at 6 on the 800 pound animal that escaped its enclosure at Roger Williams Park Zoo this morning. We're told two zoo employees were hurt, but the taken was recaptured quickly. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in studio with the new details. Steve? Well, Sheena, we wanted to know more about these animals and found that the Talkins could be aggressive, and that's exactly what happened this morning as it charged at a door through two employees and broke free. Seven feet tall with horns. About 800 pounds. It's a large animal. Talkins are from the Himalayas. Tough. If you approached it in the wild, it might be aggressive, yes. This is video of Harley at the Roger Williams Park Zoo from 2012 when the nine-year-old was first brought to its enclosure from Ohio. Tuesday at 9 a.m. before the zoo was open, a vet and an animal keeper were badly bruised when Harley charged at doors during a routine hoof procedure. It escaped for nearly an hour, but it never left zoo grounds. The animal was within view of all the recapture team at all times. So Diane Nahabedian says probably Providence police and response teams followed it with tranquilizers and rifles as a backup. At 9.55, they say the tranquilizer knocked it out. Now Harley's being watched behind closed doors to make sure he's okay. The two employees injured were treated at the zoo. There's no reason for disciplinary action. They were doing exactly what they were supposed to do. Nahabedian says they'll now do a thorough review about what happened. The zoo opened at 10:15. That's just a little bit later than normal, and they stress that no visitors were in danger since, of course, nobody was in the park yet. But even if the zoo was opened when this happened, they say everyone would have been okay because they're trained and prepared to handle escapes just like this. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.